Hello and welcome to the IBD School 200 series. My name is Srinivas Bishu and I'm a GI physician at the University of Michigan Hospital. In this video, IBD School 225, we will talk about abscesses. Abscesses generally only occur in Crohn's disease. In the most general terms, an abscess is an infection that your body has contained but not necessarily controlled. The infection is usually bacterial but can be fungal also. In the broadest sense, abscesses are very common. Even pimples can be considered a kind of small abscess. The types of abscesses that occur in Crohn's disease are more often in the abdomen or in the perirectal area. They are appropriately called abdominal abscesses or perirectal abscesses. Abscesses generally form in Crohn's disease when there is active inflammation. This inflammation can lead to a stricture or a fistula, which can then lead to an abscess. So if you have an abscess, and that abscess is not related to surgery, then you most likely are having active inflammation. This is true even if you are not having symptoms before you got the abscess. An abscess can look like a lot of things, but it most commonly is identified on imaging in the appropriate clinical setting. On imaging, such as CT scan, MRI, or ultrasound, it is generally a structure that is associated with inflammation of the surrounding tissue. If you have an abscess, it is an active infection. Therefore, the most typical symptoms of an abscess are fevers, night sweats, chills, and abdominal pain. The best way to treat an abscess is with drainage, either surgical or image-guided, and antibiotics. The best way to prevent an abscess is to keep inflammation in control. I'm Srinivas Bishu, and thank you for watching IBD School.